Her story begins in a remote valley, not unlike our own, and absolutely not like that poor doomed village of um, uphill both ways. No, 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 my friends. This is the village of downhill one way, and it has nothing to do with the terrifying fate of uphill both ways. No, no, no. This is this is simply a different shaman able to lead her dear companions to a brand new home where they can feel the earth under their feet and the wind in their hair to let nature guide them to hopefully not dying of like murder and cold and running away out of fear because they had to sacrifice bunnies to uh, survive the winter <laughs> and then they didn't even survive no, 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 this has nothing to do with our last village and everything to do with a new era of hope and prosperity so welcome back to dotage everyone where we are going to be trying once more with feeling uh, in the village of downhill one way as we dive back into the hard experience of uh the hard difficulty of being able to have a shamanistic little village beat all of the prophecies of doom and destruction we lost last time if one could say lost maybe we we were simply a cautionary tale for downhill one way and this time around we shall take the knowledge that they left with us including potentially the knowledge of cows more vegetables and i think we even learned about um herbalism yes herbalism last time too and we get to learn about gardens next in our memory beans if we are able to go ahead and defeat um or like placate the spirits of the land and keep the world in balance yay so all right we must stay here and embrace the spirits of nature this looks like a pretty nice place shaman let us work hand in hand with the elements and the spirits of nature, my companions. Together, we will build a harmonious village. Now, let's begin. They immediately began to build their village, guided by the wisdom and grace of the shaman of Downhill One Way. <laughs> All right, so, okay, last time, this shaman perhaps knows her cousin of Uphill Both Ways, who experienced quite a few difficulties given the fact that they just simply were not able to make enough food for the winter. And that did end up meaning that they had to sacrifice many, many of the poor rabbits and the bunnies in the area uh, without being able to properly placate their spirits and apologize for said sacrifices. Uh, so we ended up being a very fearful village that ended up turning on each other. <laughs> we're going to try not to let that happen again, and we're going to try to make sure that we stay close to all of the main things we need. Let's give this a good look just to see what our options are. This time around, we have quite a bit quite a bit of the rocks, a ton of the forest as usual, and we don't really have as much like clear open areas. So we're gonna wanna do some research on how to be able to like cut down some of these trees so we can just have a little breathing room pretty early on. And we are probably also going to want to do a little bit of research into how to make sure that we are able to access enough of, okay, the water for growing tomatoes actually has to be next to mountains because we learned that the shamanistic society more or less only is able to get water from mountain springs so we want to stay close to mountains we want to make sure that we're close to some of the plum bushes we want to try to stay close or like the plum trees for the plums of prophecy and we do need to stay a little bit potentially close to some of the bunnies for reasons <laughs> However, if we have to sacrifice bunnies this time, we will make sure that first we placate their spirits um, and let them know that it's not personal and we love them. Um, all right, let's see. So there's a lot of rabbits over here. There's a lot of stone over here. I think we might set up like in this area because oh, the trees are really thick. The trees are really thick, but we'll be right next to where we can do a whole bunch of farming and we can also go ahead and we can have um a few plum trees to harvest from is this the furthest i can go up yeah i think it is all right okay we did it <laughs> i was more nervous about that than i care to admit but here we are getting ready to really make the village of downhill one way 
totally be able to survive this time. Totally. So, before we begin, let us go ahead and give all four of our villagers the sacred Patreon names of the patrons who make all of our adventures possible, in the hopes that it will bring us good luck and fortune, and not death, doom, and destruction like before. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, but no, 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 this time we have Fenir the Ragnarok Dragon. Hmm, Fenir Ragnar, let's see, Ragnar, Ok. okay. Hmm. How about Finrir? Uh, how about Ragnar? Uh, Nor. Sorry. Ak. Drag. Draw. <laughs> how about uh Finir Dragon? There we go. Because that's all that will kind of fit in there. Thank you very much, Finir. You've been around for so long now, along with Nether Hearts. Oh, I promise I will do my best to take care of you guys. I. It wasn't Orbit. <laughs> We have two dragons. Come on. Two dragons like in the list this time. Come on. That has to be a good uh, a good sign. And then we also have fox fangs. There we go. So we've got two dragons, fox fangs, and nether hearts. Some of the sacred Patreon names from the, the list, the role of sacred names that make all of these ad adventures possible and will totally not be people who end up in a dangerous situation this time. Not at all. All right, so let's think about what we want to work on first. Absolutely need to start doing some of our... <gasps> Look at all of these new plants. Oh my gosh, oranges. Since when can we do oranges in pairs? Oh, this is so cool. This is the first time I'm really seeing the reality of the research tree will be different every time you have a new village. It was definitely very different last time, but I thought that was just because we were playing with the shamans. But this time the research tree is already out the gate super different. Oh my gosh. Wow. I can't wait to see what that's going to be, but it also means that we may have put ourselves in an interesting location because the cultivation of crops may have nothing to do with being up against the mountain springs this time. Oh. It literally doesn't look, this is a crude well that has nothing to do with mountain springs. So I just shoved us up against a bunch of rocks. Oh my gosh, I should have checked this first. Well, you live and learn. You live, hopefully, and you learn, hopefully. And look at this, this time we have the puddles instead of the fans. My mind is so blown by this. And what is going on over here? And now we have the refreshments instead of the solace table. Oh my word. That is all so different than it was last time. I think construction is mostly going to be, yeah, pretty much the same. But wow. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't kind of expecting that. Um, I think we can build the totem. So we are right away going to go ahead and, hmm. So totem, tall totem would be two, totem would be one, and then there'd be, yeah, okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to spend a bit of time researching the totems first, because I do feel that being able to have the knowledge we need to move forward within our community is going to be very, very important. So with the little bit of wood that we have already got, let's go ahead and establish ourselves uh, in this in this forest. For the village of One Hill, or One Hill, haha, <laughs> the village of Downhill One Way. All right, we'll gather up some wood. We will build a totem. It needs to be next to the, the animals. So how about one up here? And then how about we get another totem down like right now, just to get that really moving and grooving. All right, we'll put the other totem right here. There we go. And then we could collect the food right now. But is there anything else that I would want somebody to work on? We could do tent, but I can't really put a tent anywhere that I particularly want it right now. Maybe, well, actually, maybe it's a good thing to get a tent and maybe get the population up early on so that this time when we add to our population, we'll be able to go ahead and maybe keep them fed because we'll grow our population in spring when there's opportunities for more food instead of in winter when the only opportunities involve death, doom, and destruction. So let's actually focus on that for right now. In fact, I wonder if I should focus on having some new piplings born because technically 
Oh, well, I can't. <laughs> All right, there we are. The very humble beginnings. The first steps of the village of Downhill One Way. What will fate have in store for us? Only time will be able to tell. Oh, hello? Oh my gosh, are, is, are, are things already happening? Whoa, Fox Fangs. Oh, Fox Fangs. I feel like Fox Fangs is volunteering to become one of the druids because they already have decided they're doing nature meditation. That's a good sign. Boy, I wish I had given us more room if, if I had known that we were going to get water not from <laughs> mountain springs. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right. So let's go ahead. And sure enough, Fox Fangs is indeed volunteering to become one of our druids right away. And we're going to have Orbit Dragon come on over. And we shall indeed have the two dragons welcome in another little pipling so that the children can grow and thrive while we still have plenty and plenty of food to feed everyone, thanks to the plums that are all around. And the druids will begin their research. Yay! So that we can go ahead and we can begin learning what it will take to survive. Oh my gosh. Is there already stuff going? What? <laughs> then, or so Orbit has a kid with Fin, uh, with like Finrar the dragon, and then it just goes straight up to Fox Fangs. That's adorable! Wow, kiss out of nowhere. That's so cute. This is definitely a good sign for like the beginning of their village, right? The plums of prophecy would only be sweet, only sweet, not sour, not deadly. This time. I, I insist upon it. Um, let's see. I think I might need to put another dwelling over here just so we can keep moving over to that side. So we'll build another dwelling here while we can. And then I'll go ahead and start collecting the plums. And we will let our we will let our druids go ahead and start doing some research because the faster we can pile up the research points, the faster we can open up everything else. <sighs> But maybe I should have them work on the educate. Let's think. Okay, look, we have to hold our ground on that because that will really help out with being able to like gather everything that we need for expanding our village. Even if it is, even if it does seem a little bit, mm, it, it, it does just blow a little bit of the winds of doubt upon the back of one's neck to think about just letting our druids sit and commune with the bunnies day after day while we could actually be working on you know expanding the village somehow trying to get seeds in the ground but it will go faster once we are able to honor the rabbits with taller totems and truly respect the adorable little hopping bun buns by building totems in their honor they shall give us wisdom we shall read the rabbit tracks, and from their, their itty bitty little footprints in, in the mud and stuff, we'll be able to see a path to a lucky future. I mean, come on, if you were, were gonna go ahead and follow something, wouldn't like, <laughs> wouldn't like a lucky rabbit's foot be the thing you would want to go for? All right, let's go ahead and make sure that we're getting some of that wood collected, and let us bequeath two more of the lucky Patreon names upon these new piplings, so we can welcome in Cobalt Knights back to Cobalt Knight. Welcome back, uh, back into the embrace of our adventures. And Silver Umbreon, am I going to be able to fit? Nope, Silver Umber, Silver Umber. How about that? <laughs> Welcome, welcome back into the village. You are reborn as pips here in the village of Downhill One Way, and I hope that the knowledge and the happy life that you led, both led, in the village of Are We There You, will rub some of its luck off into this new era. All right. Hi, little ones. Like, I'm gonna need to make sure I keep on top of the plum picking uh, to feed everybody right now, but I think it'll be okay. And everyone's gonna grow up, and we need to gather up a lot of the wood anyway to upgrade the totem. Alright. Food coming in, food coming out, maybe somebody will grow up. I'm already, I'm already actually getting nervous. <laughs> At least now we have the tall totem with like double rabbit heads. Whew, okay. All right, 
And then we could go ahead and we could try to do the uh, Totomic Temple, but I don't think that actually any of our totems can go into a nifty location, like until we get over here. And then we could put it next to more than like one rabbit group each. I don't think, because it needs to be within one. Yeah, I don't think we have anywhere lucky footed enough. Yeah, even over here with the birds, um, it would still only have like two, two bun buns. So I don't think we have anywhere where like you could really be part of the rabbit like warren and sit surrounded on all four sides by rabbits, unfortunately. That would be really cool. And actually, do those count for animal terrain tile? No, so I was thinking, what if you could just like make a bunch of the rabbit hutches and surround it? Does that count? But I don't think it does. <laughs> So basically, even if we did research the largest totem right now, we would still only gain two of the knowledge points a day. So instead, we are going to be very practical and very clever and start researching for heck and gosh heck of all of it um, as much as we can for the field collecting. And then we are going to start, I guess we could start, let's do field collecting, crude well, and then we're going to do some of the, the food that we can grow and just go as quickly as we can on that. Cobalt Knight, congratulations on growing up. All right. Hopefully you too, why did I not? That's okay, Siri, that's okay. Maybe we do wanna go one more day without upgrading the totems. You're right. Oh, what's going on here? The two dragons are chit-chatting now. Are we, are we, aw, everyone's so happy and friendly to each other. Boy, I really hope the cordial talk and like the people falling in love and the kisses out of nowhere don't add up into something that makes us really sad. <laughs> All right, maybe I should just go ahead and let them finish with the field collecting before I upgrade the tall totem. Um, Cause that might, or should I just build a new tall totem over here? It would take two days or it would just take one day to upgrade. Uh, All right, I'm gonna let them have one more day, even though it's kind of like, Eh. But I'm gonna do it so we can start collecting some of the seeds and some of the hemp as quickly as we can. Yay! All right, field collector researched. Excellent! And now why don't we go ahead and we upgrade both of the totems at once. How about them apples? Because uh, we need to, you know, learn how to get apples. And then we will go ahead and start learning how to collect the wild seeds of the land. Uh, we'll start over here. And then I think, do we have enough plums? We do have enough plums. So we'll do that one. We can have a water collector here and here. So here, so we'll put another one right here because I think here and here are gonna have tomatoes pretty soon. Also, we need to research signs because I really put us in a very tight location for having fields upon fields upon fields. Uh, and then actually, let's go ahead and build another one of the houses with the few bits of uh, bunny blanket leather we currently have. So we can start spreading out here as well. Field collectors, yes, look at those upgrades. Boom. That's a whole bunch of stuff all at once. I'm pretty pleased about that. I, I also should probably be like plum pleased because we really need to get those plums now. <laughs> all right. And there we have it. So we have begun to go ahead and collect some of the seeds from the, the forest. Let's see, do I need that wood right away or should I focus on seeds right now? There we go. And we have begun to collect the seeds and we have begun to collect the knowledge that the rabbits can give us so that plum tree would need, it's good for spring and summer and it gives us a lot. You just need a lot of seeds for it. The carrot field plus two if field building within one. Whoo, carrot field, I could have sworn there were multiple crops behind each one of these. <gasps> Does that mean it's it's random sometimes what you get? My jaw is on the ground. Hold up. I thought we were gonna have a, like our tomatoes, but we don't. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, okay, let me think. Definitely need, we gotta do crude well next. 
Oh man, and then maybe carrots? But plum trees actually go ahead and they're ready to harvest pretty soon too. Oh, I thought it was gonna give us like all of those different crops, but it only gave us one. Oh my gosh, okay. So that's one of the challenges we have to face on how to go ahead and survive. That's the difference. Every time it's gonna be a little different. We don't have tomatoes this time and we don't have the other fruits because I think it, it gave us just random things and we got plums and we ended, and that's why we had chestnut trees last time, but not plum trees. Oh, dang. This is, this is going to be a little bit more different than I expected, friends. <laughs> uh Huh. So on that note, I'm suddenly feeling uh, even more anxious to go ahead and make sure that we are getting as many of the fields put in as possible. <laughs> And that we maybe have some of these field collectors put in um, and that we can just really keep things moving and grooving because I think that everything's going to start getting very interesting pretty soon. So, huh. Well then, huh. Everything is slightly different here in the village of Downhill One Way, but perhaps that simply means that the hands of fate will be far more kindly to us than they were, uh-oh, <laughs> to the village of uphill both ways. I say as literally, you're kidding me. Now is the moment that we have the prophecy of doom from the spirits of the land. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Just as I was trying to say how we're going to be like safe. The spirits of the land have shown me that the world is out of balance and that we must work together to restore it. Have the spirits forsaken us? Do not despair, my companions, for we are not the village of uphill one both ways. We are in this place for a reason and we have been given a great responsibility. Let me tell you about my prophecy. Oh boy. According to what I saw, we will encounter many events in the near future. Okay, and the doom event awaits us at the end. We must prepare for it. Okay, all right, what are we gonna have to deal with? Sickness, sickness, heat, sickness. Boy, that didn't work out well for us last time. I need to start having these people collect some hemp. I need to start having them work on, on being able to face this with courage and determination and working hard to survive by potentially also adding to the, the quantity of people in the village, because we're going to need it if we're going to be able to gather enough of the hemp and enough of everything else. Oh no, and an omen now? Oh, it's the sickness omen. Okay. Oh no, five days. All right, well, here we go. Things are getting real, more or less, right away. Okay, and we're going to do our best to fight against it and to use the knowledge painfully handed over to us from the village of Uphill Both Ways next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.